What is going on guys, Wonder Man Boxing, and today we're going to talk about something very important. Does David Benavides deserve a shot against Canelo Alvarez? Now the purpose of this video is because I had some folks in my comment section saying that David Benavides does not deserve a shot against Canelo Alvarez, and here are the reasons why. The guy doesn't hold a title, he struggles to make weight in the past, and the guy got busted taking drugs. Now, let me just say this right off the bat so people don't misunderstand me. I respect Canelo Alvarez. He's had a hell of a career. I've been following Canelo Alvarez's career for a very long time. You know, the guy became undisputed at 168 pounds, and we all know that he is the face of boxing. But one thing we have to take in consideration is that at some point, if he wants to keep those titles, he will have to defend them, meaning that at some point, he will have to fight David Benavides. Now, David Benavides has time in his favor because he's younger than Canelo Alvarez. The guy hasn't even hit his prime yet. If Canelo Alvarez wanted to defend his titles and fight David Benavides at some point, the best time to fight him is either this year or the beginning of next year because Canelo Alvarez is in his best moment right now. He's in his prime right now. He's on a streak right now. Now let's move that out of the way. Let's talk about these folks that are saying these negative things about David Benavides. Yes, you're right. David Benavides did lose his title. Yes, David Benavides has struggled to make weight. And yes, David Benavides got busted taking drugs. People make mistakes, absolutely. He is a different fighter now, absolutely. Maybe he's taking his career a lot more serious now than he did back then. But if we're going to put a man down, then we got to keep that same energy if we are going to defend Canelo Alvarez. Now, before I say this again, don't misunderstand me. I respect Canelo Alvarez. I've been following Canelo Alvarez's career for a very long time. And the guy to me, he's the face of boxing for sure, 100%. Whatever it is, if it was a lie, if it was a misunderstanding, if it was um, a small amount percentage of clambuterol in his system. And again, we don't have to defend the supplement Climbuter or that other athletes take it to, as a fat burner or everything like that. We don't even have to go there because Canelo Alvarez already said that he was eating some type of meat in Mexico, right? So we don't even have to go there. We don't even have to defend that. What I'm trying to say here is that even if all that is a lie or if it's true or whatever, the past is the past. People make mistakes. One thing we do know is that Canelo Alvarez did get suspended for six months. Yes, he is the most tested fighter by Vada because he is one of the most active fighters nowadays. We do know that. But the guy came out positive and it is what it is. If we are going to put down David Benavides for his past mistakes, we have to keep that same energy against Canelo Alvarez. Because if we're going to point fingers at one guy, we got to know how many fingers are pointing back at you. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, people make mistakes. David Benavides versus Canelo Alvarez is a hell of a fight. It's a mega fight that at some point it will have to take its place in the ring. I'm out.